I am back on Animal Crossing, baby. And I have no idea what I want to do today. There is not a single plan going in my head, but we are here on Willow and we're just gonna vibe. We're just gonna have a good time. Like, what are these two doing here? Look at these two. Oh my God. Right up in each other's business. Do I need to leave? Do y'all need space? Like, what is this, honey? I know that like the two of them are neighbors and like they're kind of best friends now because of that. Um, But this is a little too much. Oh, oh. Oh, you two are so boring. Are you kidding me? Pat Tay said that my hair was rocking today. So that pretty much makes us BFFs. Okay, thank you for proving my point. That's exactly what I love to see. My villagers getting along. Thank you for that. It's currently 8 a.m. on the island. And that means Able Sisters is closed. I wanted to start this off just by like catching up with my girls and my guys and just like... <gasps> Wait, that jacket, I have never seen that jacket before. Okay, I literally time traveled just so that I can go inside Able Sisters and see what that jacket is. It's a delivery jacket. Interesting. So it's like a uniform, but it's so cute. I want the brown one and I want the black one too. How have I not known about it this entire time? Thank you so much game for the brand new discoveries three years later. I want to do some gift giving to my villagers because it, it, it feels like it's been a while since I did that. So like, let's just look in here real quick, see if there's anything, you know, for the girls. Like, do we think any of these tops would look cute on any of my villagers? It could be funny to give this one to Wolfgang because Wolfgang has this on Fallbrook. So I think I want to give it to him here too. Just just to be funny let me grab that other thing for pietro why do i have three of those cycling caps i really am just a hoarder on this island honestly like i just keep every single thing that my villagers give to me and like i'm just really nice about it like i just can't get myself to throw them out because i just feel bad even though these villagers have like no feelings you know they're not gonna be like oh you little piece of shit how dare you get rid of my items like they don't care and yet here i am still getting concerned a lot of my villagers on the island right now are brand new you know if you saw the last video so like i would love to give something to quinn but um you know if you know you know but pate is over here hi i i'm not in the mood to wrap it so like here you go should i give her the overall dress or should i give her the parka dress i think the parka dress would look really cute on her yes oh my god it does look good on her. Thank you for the arcade seat. I'm not gonna use it, but I thank you for it anyways. Biscuit is so like graphic tea vibes, you know? Like I try to give him every single graphic tea that I find in the game. Like, hell yeah. That looks so cute on him. It's totally his vibe. He didn't give me something in return. I don't care. He can still have it. You, on the other hand, well, hello. I take it you're done giving me the silent treat. Five minutes into the freaking video and she's already trying to pick a fight with me. Are you kidding me? What was I supposed to think? I see you running about the island and not a word of hello. Bitch, nobody has time for you. Stop thinking the world revolves around you, Opal. I have my own shit to do. It's okay to drop by and say hi without any particular reason. No, it's not. I have a life. Just take your stupid fucking dress and don't talk to me again. I don't even care what you think. Like, there, that's an outfit on you. Cute. I am literally the only person here who dresses you to the nines. You can't even do that shit on your own every single one of your cute outfits that you have worn do you remember who gave them to you yeah that's exactly right hide behind that damn wall think about what you did go stand in the fucking corner one thing about miss opal she will always be ready to try it no matter what oh and now look at her now she's trying to start strike up a freaking conversation with my bestie okay yeah oh 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 I was gonna say walk away. Do you see how she shoved him? She had to shove him out of the way. Do I have anything else in my locker here to like give to my villagers? I wanna give something to Fang. I feel like this sweater vest would look good on him. That looks cute on him. Okay, Mr. Fang, servant looks. I guess like now's probably a good time to mention. Ooh, that's a cute t-shirt. Okay, when I'm friends enough with Quinn, I'm definitely gonna give that to her. Like, I feel like she would look cute in that. Just like a casual t-shirt that like she can wear in the house, you know? Oh yeah, there's like some tea. So like, um, <laughs> Vivian moved on to the island, right? And like, I just saw her here. Fang was there and the two of them just kept like waving at each other and making eyes. <laughs> This is so weird. And then look at this. The two of them were hanging out. And then bam. 
Y'all see that shit? Do y'all see that shit? What the hell is going on? For the first time in a very long time in the Angry Coconut Cinematic Universe, we might have a straight couple on the island. Although in my head, you know, nobody in the Angry Coconut Cinematic Universe is straight. So both of them are probably either bi or pan, which we love. But you know what? <laughs> Again, what do we think? Vivian's only been here for a few days and she's already getting buddy buddy with the villagers. Good for her. Who am I looking for? I'm looking for Wolfgang and I'm looking for Teddy. I have no idea where those two are. I want to give them their gifts. Just some t-shirts that I dug out of my closet. You know, I'm such a good friend. I give them my hand-me-downs. That's what a real friend does. Who the fuck are you? Get the fuck out of my way. Look at her trying to block me. Like she was so honest to God, if the cameras weren't on right now, she would have 100% pushed me into the ocean. Teddy, are you in here? Yes, you are. Hi, sir. And now he has this lovely get up. It looks so formal on him. Giving me a delivery jacket. <gasps> You see, this is why Teddy is my fucking ride or die, giving me an orange one. Isn't it really ironic that orange is my least favorite color and Teddy here, you know, exists? Also Biscuit, like Biscuit, one of my favorite villagers is also orange. I'm grateful that he gave me that delivery jacket. It's a very cute item, but the orange one, Teddy? Girl, you know me better. He's trying to convert me. He's like, how are you gonna be with me? and hate on orange. That feels rude. So because of that, he's like, here, take this orange jacket and you better fucking enjoy it. Why are you thinking? What? What do you want now? Just now, Opal said my whole qu- Not this fucking woman starting shit with pate now. Are you kidding me? She first tried it with me and now she moved on to pate, making fun of her catchphrase. Just because Opal said that shit wasn't cute or fun, no. Be yourself and keep it. Do not listen to Opal of all people on this island, Pate. You only listen to me. If I say you change your catchphrase, then you can change it. Anybody else on the island, especially Opal, mm-mm, mm-mm, you can be yourself. There are some things that I have been meaning to do on this island. Yeah, I have to start decorating and stuff again, blah, blah, blah. But I kind of want to focus mainly on like these kind of little areas that I have that are just a bunch of trees and kind of like zhuzh them up. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that because I don't know what else to do. I'm just going to run around the island, grab all my bushes, grab all my flowers, and then we'll go from there. And we're going to try and keep things like very simple, which is shocking for me, I know. But we're gonna try. Key emphasis on the word try. Like, let's grab some of these bushes that I just have over here. And I'm gonna grab a few flowers to gay people line up. <laughs> it's time we talk about drag race. Wait, there's a butterfly. Oh no, I already caught this. Oh well, whatever. Okay, before we get into season 15 though, I need to talk about Drag Race Sweden. I don't know if anybody is following that season, but I'm sure that everybody here has seen my Drag Race Simulator videos and y'all have seen how messy that track record can get. That is literally happening in real life. Sorry for the spoilers, but like y'all need to catch up anyways. There was a queen on there named I'm a Queen, which I think that's such a boss ass name. Um, she was the front runner. She won the first week and then was in the top for three weeks in a row. Cut to the second week, there was a queen named Antonina. I'm gonna be honest, was kinda just there. And she got sent home the second episode. So then tell me why, two weeks later, it's only been the fourth episode, there's still like seven queens left in the competition, I think. They brought back a queen. And they brought back Antonina. It was so funny. They literally, like, they. I didn't watch the season, by the way. Like, I'm just reading this shit off the Wikipedia page. They had the eliminated girls do the reading challenge. And they brought back the winner, which ended up being Antonina. And then cut to the actual, like, episode itself. It was Snatch Game. And I'm a queen. Aside from her being the frontrunner, she did apparently bomb Snatch Game alongside Antonina, right? So then the two of them, the comeback queen and the frontrunner, were in the bottom two together. And then the comeback queen sent home the frontrunner on the fourth episode. The fourth episode of the season. Like, if you literally look at the stat chart, it looks like something that would come out of a drag race simulator. I'm not even joking. It is so funny and so unserious. And I don't care what anybody says. That shit is so campy. That is so so campy to me. I think that is the funniest thing that could ever happen on a drag race season. I am obsessed. I wasn't tuned in before, 
are, but honestly, I'm willing to tune in just for that. Like, I'm sorry, that is so fucking iconic. And like, people are so pissed off about it, rightfully so, because like a lot of people wanted I'm a Queen to win because like she was apparently like really good. Again, I haven't seen the season, so like, I don't know. But like at the same time, it makes the season so interesting now because like the front runner, the people who thought that like was gonna win is now gone. So it kind of like opens up the competition for like everybody else to like hopefully get a chance to win. I don't know. Like I said, I was living for it. Okay, yeah, and now back to Drag Race 15. I just wanted to get that out of the way because like I said, I have never seen something like that happen before. It was just so random. Like, is, that's it. That's all I have to say. We are now on the final four. And I have a theory. I really do. These top four episodes, they never make sense. We all know this, right? Like, some we some seasons they have a challenge winner and then some seasons they don't. Some seasons someone goes home, some seasons they don't. It's all really random and weird. They teased it in the actual episode or like in the episode teaser that like it's going to be a top three this year, which like, you know, normally I would be so excited because I've wanted like a top three season for so long. But I really like this top four and I don't want any of them to go home. But the thing is, is that I kind of, kind of, kind of feel like somebody actually might go home this time around. Because like, this is the first season in a really long time there hasn't been any double Shantae's. Which is so like, strange to think about it. The fact that there's been a double Shantae or like a non-elimination episode since like, season 9. There's been one every season, I'm pretty sure. Cause season nine, you know, the top four episode, they like filmed people getting eliminated. They filmed all four of them getting eliminated, but then they ended up having a top four. And then they did it again in season 10. And there was also a double Shantae. But this season, there hasn't been any. And cause of that, I think they actually might send someone home. <laughs> but now here's the thing. If there's a challenge winner this time around, um, I think it's either gonna be Sasha or Lux winning the challenge and like the thing is i think it most likely might be sasha but if it's sasha that wins the challenge i think lux might end up going home because like i'm looking at it from like a track record stance like they usually the reason why they have like challenge winners in the final episode is to just kind of like set up everybody's track records going into the finale like it's usually to give one of the queens their third or fourth win to like either establish a front runner or make sure that someone who they don't don't want to be the front runner isn't the front runner. Like season 12, Gigi won that final episode. And they did that to make Gigi the front runner because by that point, everybody was also standing Jada. By the way, I'm a Jada stan, so maybe I'm a little biased when I say this, but Jada should have won that final episode instead. I truly believe Jada could have had five wins. And then like season 13, nobody won. And then season 14, Camden won, uh, even though Diabetes should have won because everybody argues that. That's the other thing too, is that like when somebody does win, you can easily argue somebody else winning so that's what i mean but then when there's seasons where nobody wins you can argue for somebody who should have won like season 11 nobody won but everybody and their mother knew that evie oddly ate <laughs> evie oddly demolished that fucking challenge and she should have won that's what i mean like if somebody is winning there's two people I think are gonna win. It's either Sasha to kind of establish her as the front runner because right now like Anitra and Lux and even Mistress, like all four of them, despite having different stats, they are still technically front runners because like none of them have really fumbled hard in the competition. Like even if they were in the bottom, they didn't like necessarily flop the challenge. They were just in the bottom because everybody else did better than them. That was really it. So I feel like they're gonna give either the win to Sasha or, and this is kind of my stretch theory, they're gonna give the win to Lux. And if they give the win to Lux, they're doing it so that they can have their final three be the what like all have the same amount of wins and because of that even though it pains me to say it i feel like if lux ends up winning next week mistress might be getting the boot <laughs> which i don't want i don't want that to happen i don't want that i want mistress in the final four i just want it to be a top four i don't want any of them going home i don't know there's just something in me that's being like they're actually gonna eliminate queens this time around. Like, I just feel like they're actually gonna do it because there just hasn't been a single double Shantae, you know? <laughs> That's just what it is. So yeah, I feel like either Sasha's gonna win or Lux. And if Sasha wins, I feel like they're probably gonna eliminate either Mistress or Lux because I feel like those two really are. Because like Anitra and Sasha 
are 100% in the top two. And I'd be okay with either of them winning. It's really between Lux and Mistress, I feel like, who are kind of in danger right now. And I don't know. I don't know. That's just my theory. That's just what I've been thinking about. Discuss in the comments. Discuss what everybody else thinks. I'm very, very curious. I have literally just been sitting here and kind of planting shit. The way I plant things is basically like when I'm filling up a forest, I really only like to try and like put things in where you can actually see it. Like, I don't really like to put things behind a tree directly. Like you see how like all the spaces that are filled with things are like spaces you can actually see without having to like manipulate the camera. That's basically how I do it. For anybody who was ever curious, is there anything else worth doing here? Maybe like one more bush? There's like so many bushes in this area, but I don't care. I love the bushes. Isn't it so weird though, seeing Isabelle in her summertime uniform again? I genuinely forgot that like it's technically like warmer season now. I know I'm always talking about the damn weather and the damn nature and the time change on here, but like it's getting warm in real life again. For the first time in a very long time, I went out today without a jacket. And it was so, so, so nice. I am so excited for summer. That's all I have to say. And you know, it doesn't even help. Um, can y'all see that? <laughs> Her album came out. It's a very good album. And there are certain songs on that album that just make me want to lie down in the grass and like roll around in mud. Her album and also Miley's album, Endless Summer Vacation, which I'll be honest, I'll be honest. Um, it's a good album, but compared to Plastic Hearts, and compared to what I expected because of Plastic Hearts, I definitely was hoping for a little more, but that doesn't mean the album's bad. The album isn't bad. It just, you know, it could be better. Why are you thinking, listen up this, it pains me. You are not the person I wanted to kick out. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? No, clean up your damn room. You piece of shit. And can you move out of the way? Fang is trying to fucking walk. Is this because I said I didn't like orange? You can be honest with me. Is it because I didn't like the jacket you gave me? Baby, you have to talk these things through. You can't just run away from your problems, from your messy room, from your messy life. Deal with it. That was so mean. Can y'all believe that shit? Also, here's Quinn. Um, fun fact, by the way, Quinn is currently in her amnesia area amnesia era because I kicked her out and brought her back onto the island. So like, she literally has no idea what the fuck is going on. Um, <laughs> I'm so sorry to this woman. I really am. Fang is here dressed like a game show host. What do you have to say? Ugh, can't quit yawning. Should have slept in today. Girl, it's only 9 a.m. You could have like slept for three more hours. No one would judge you. Do we think they're gonna fight? Can they please, can they please fight? I mean, Fang, it would be a little fucked up for you to fight with a girl who has memory loss right now. But at the same time, I am a messy bitch who lives for drama. Ooh, even Vivian. Auntie Vivian is here for the fucking tea too. Vivian and I are here to see. She's watching her man and I'm watching my girl. We're trying to see what these two are talking about. Never trust a man who wears a blazer and a tie at nine in the morning for no reason. He got up and chose to wear that outfit. Quinn, read his ass down. No. No, why won't my girls fight? I don't get it. Oh my God, and now these two are waving at each other. Everybody is so social. Auntie Vivian, can you believe this shit? Oh dear, just look at those clouds. I wonder what the weather has in store for us later. I think it looks really pretty right now. Can I just ogle <laughs> at how my island looks right now? It's like so foggy and so perfect. I'm actually obsessed with it. Okay, this area right over here though, it's kind of what I want to try and tackle because I have some ideas and the ideas involve getting rid of <laughs> some of these trees. Cause like these trees have just been here kind of like as a placeholder until I could like actually figure out what I want to do. So I guess like now that I kind of have an idea, we could probably just get started. Let's see if I could figure this out. I don't want to put these items in my pocket cause then I'm going to forget about them. <laughs> so <laughs> they're just going to be over there for now. We are sadly getting rid of these trees. Sorry, look at me in my deforestization era. I mean, like, I don't know why I'm trying to keep it a secret. My plan is to basically kind of mimic what I have going on here, kind of, with all those storefronts and all those like bus stop items. I want to try and create like more fake buildings kind of over here because like my plan is, well, I guess I am kind of mimicking my entrance because like I want to put train tracks over here now. 
Like that's kind of my plan. You know, you cross the train tracks and then there's like a few houses over here. Kind of create like another neighborhood. Where is my storage shed? It's in here. Right away, I am going to grab, do I have simple panels? I better have simple panels. Okay, I do. I do, and I have the perfect color as well. No, but like I talked about Miley's album, right? And like, again, I do like Miley's album, but I know for a damn fact that like when summertime hits, that album is gonna eat. That album is gonna be so good. I am just so excited for summertime once again, because I'm realizing again, the older I get, I just like summer, which is a very, very weird thing to say and admit, but it's true. Shout out to summer. I hate the heat. I will always hate the heat, but the vibes will always be correct. I just love it. And like right now, the weather is getting warmer. Like I said, I'm already once again in my hiking era. Like I have been hiking. Go outside. Go experience nature, y'all. It's so fun. Y'all would y'all would love it. I don't know. The vibes lately have just felt so correct overall. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's put these simple panels here. Actually, I guess I could probably get some custom designs underneath. Like, let's just get that. Okay, so I'm thinking we'll put a simple panel there, like so, and then put that back. We gotta push it all the way back. Oh my goodness. So much work for my poor player over here. Like I said though, like these people have probably have the strength. One punch from these Animal Crossing characters and they would probably destroy your head. Like they would just destroy you with one punch. And that's what I mean. Like you just cannot mess with these players. Let's grab a bus stop. And do I have a storefront? Yes, I do. We'll grab this one. And then, ooh, this, this item right here is perfect. Exactly the vibes. Hopefully I can, oh God, I have to get rid of this. Okay, we might as well. I am going to put this like so. I'm using words. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Cause I know for a fact that I'd never do this. I'm gonna customize the sign on here because like I said, I never do it. What should I put? Like, should I put this? Should I just put like a newspaper on? Or should I like actually, ooh, like maybe this sign. This sign right here could be a vibe. Should I put custom designs underneath? I'm thinking about it. Like maybe just these. And then what did I have? I had the bike over here. Let me just put these back so I remember. And then my plan is to put the plant partition that I grabbed. And I'm basically creating a balcony. So there's no need for me to like dwindle on about what I'm doing. We have this little action going on. Kind of like a fake house. Does it look cute? Does it look fun? I'm a fan of it, so I'm gonna keep it. I'm having a thought in my head. This might be kind of weird to do, but <laughs> it has to be done. I wanna get rid of this cliff. Oh God, now I have to put my hard hat on. This was not in the plan, but it's working and I'm kind of vibing with what I'm doing. So we might as well just go for it. The little thingy, Please go the right way. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why doesn't it ever go the right fucking way? Like, it's so annoying. Oh God, and now it's gonna go like this. Oh my God. Okay, I have to get rid of that item. It's so annoying. Why doesn't it go the, like it always, like I want it to go that way. And now I have to put it out all the way over here and just push it in. Like for what fucking reason? I don't even know. It's annoying is what it is. Thank you for that Animal Crossing. Thank you for just being yourself. I am going to take this wooden storage shed and stick it in here and kind of create like a fake roof. Should I go that way or the other way? I think that way is fine. And then we'll put the bush back here. Like that's like a cute building, right? Like, do we like it? Do we think it's cool? Do we think it's fun? I think it's cool and fun. Comment down below if you think it's cool and fun. <laughs> We're gonna grab the cliff item once again or the cliff tool, not the item. <laughs> We're gonna build a cliff like so, and then grab the hedges and do that. That's cute. I'll go with it. If I don't like it, I could always change it, but I'm not I'm not mad at that right now. So we'll keep it for now. I made a fake building on camera. Cute, 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 cute. And now comes the fun part because I get to do it again on the other side. Um, I'm not gonna try and go like super symmetrical with it because fun fact about me, I hate symmetry. Every time I tell people that I hate symmetry, that like people always just assume I'm lying, but I don't know. There's just something so unsettling. <laughs> That really is the right way to explain it. It just feels weirdly unsettling when things are like 
perfectly symmetrical, you know? It just feels fake. It just feels off. Like that's really the best way to put it. I don't know. I like when things are kind of unsymmetrical and just like kind of all over the place because it just makes the area look so like lived in. You know, that's the main reason. I like the lived in vibe, the lived in cozy vibe. So that's exactly it. And in order to like keep the unsymmetrical vibes going, let's do that instead. I think that item looks really good there. So I'm gonna put that item there. And then what should I do? Let's build the cliff again, because I don't even know why I did all that. What would make this area look fun? Maybe if I kind of alternate it. So like over here, I had storefronts on top, bus stop on bottom. So maybe on the other side, let's put a storefront on the bottom instead and see how that looks. This is fun. I forgot how fun it is to like actually decorate. Like let's grab this yellow one and then maybe I wanna put like an item in front of it, right? Like this is cute. That's cute so far. And then maybe we'll do bus stops up here and then we'll grab this and this and create a little moment up here. So I am going to put one air conditioner like that and then the other air conditioner like this and create, should I put it that way or the other way? Maybe like this way to create like one extra long air conditioner and then we'll put one bus stop facing that way and the other bus stop, why the hell did it go all the way over there? Put it like here and then, oh God, oh my God, why? Can't it just go the way I want it to? Now that actually doesn't look good. I'm not a fan of that. Maybe I should take inspiration from my entrance. What did I do over here? I created like something. <laughs> Maybe, ooh, I know. We'll like take it off over here and put one more down here just to like make it look more interesting. Go the right way. Okay, thank you. It actually went the right way this time too. So I fuck with that. Yeah, that looks a little better. I'm not mad at that. That could work. That could work. I'm vibing with this. I think it's fun. And then although I don't want to right now, I guess like we can kind of figure out what I'm trying to do over here. You know, like let's get rid of this cliff. I don't even know why I had this cliff here to begin with. This cliff is so unnecessary. Let's just like get rid of all this. Cause honestly, all of this is like pissing me off. There was an original plan here and then I just didn't stick to that plan. That's basically what it was. We got to clear this up. Oh my God. Oh my God, that fucking scared me. Why did he run like that? All right, kiddo, got an update about the situation at my domicile. Yesterday, I rolled up the old sleeves and hunkered down and finally did some cleaning. Long story short, the place is now suitable for habitation and oh, clean enough to host a guest. I mean, I guess. Like, damn, I'm pretty sure this man would shove me. He would fucking stab me in the back if I said no. So like, let's just take a quick break and see what this man wants. Here we are at his house. Hi, he's all dressed up for the occasion too. What do you have to say? Take your time and relax, okay? Not much I can offer in the way of hospitality. Can I just like sleep in his bed? He's happy. He's happy that I'm in his bed. Cute. Do you have like anything you'd like to say to me? Feel free for a little competition. Okay, we'll play a game. We're gonna play high card, low card. Uh, do not give me the rules. I've played this game way too many times. Three. Three. Is it gonna be higher or lower than three? It has to be higher. It has to be higher, right? Oh, thank God. I feel like every time they draw a low number and I say hi, it always ends up being a lower number. It's so weird. The Animal Crossing gods just love to test you with that one. Ooh, I forgot about this feature. They let you buy their items. I'm just gonna take the one item in here that doesn't go with the rest, this microphone. Why the fuck do you even have this? Okay, I'm leaving now, sir. Cause if you can't tell, I'm fucking busy. Oh my God, and he gave me a song. KK Step, wait, that's cute. I didn't know they'd do that. They give you their favorite song. Oh my God, maybe I should be going to these people's houses more often. Oh my God, look at Miss Vivian. She is working out in the rain with her waterproof makeup and Quinn is just watching her. Quinn is just eyeing her down. Oh my God, oh my gosh, she's like pushing her out of the way and everything. I said that Fang and Vivian had a thing going on, but it's interesting how like Quinn and Viv here, they always seem to be together. Oh, oh, and now they're waving at each other. Ooh, they're conversing once again. What do we think they're talking about? Oh my God, look at Miss Pate over here being a nosy little thing coming in. She's like eavesdropping alongside me. At least I'm being a little more obvious about it. Like I'm owning the fact that I'm an eavesdropper. Pate, stop trying to play coy. Come on, let's fight about something. Let's be good. Let's be dramatic together. 
Oh, oh. Damn. Y'all are bold. <laughs> the next day. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck do these two have to be talking about? So you think you're real tough stuff. Uh-oh, they're fighting. You know it. Oh god, now they're involving me. <laughs> Wolfgang here wants to spar with me. They're fighting over me. <laughs> Guys, they're fighting. <laughs> Can you think of a fairer contest? Um, I want them to fight though. I want them to scrap. But you know what, though? As much as I love a physically active man, I prefer a man who can sing. Let them have a singing contest. Let them duke it out via vocals, because Teddy would devour. Strong core muscles, strong voice, right? Check this out. Strong abs and back, muscles not slack. Oh, he got bars. He has bars, too. Look at Wolfgang. <laughs> Wolfgang's nervous. No fair. Attacking a guy's eardrums. Singing's more about being loud. More than about being loud. You gotta at least try to sing good. Teddy ate that. You know. No, Teddy ate that. Wolfgang, he's walking away. Mm -mm, he's walking away. He's trembling in his boots. Teddy did that. Yes, he did. That's my fucking himbo.